realize that you're wrapping up here at Tennessee? Uh, yeah, slowly but surely. Um, I'm just, I'm trying not to focus on it. I don't want to get too emotional. And, um, cause, I mean, it is Texas a and it's a good team. So, just trying to take it for what it is today, and then tomorrow is just another game. Can Kamiko Williams really get emotional from playing the public? Um, I can. Granted, I've always told people I have too much pride to cry, but I can, and it might happen. I'll just look at Taper and probably just break down. Yeah, you, Taper but I'm going to try not to. Taper said you I'm told her not. don't look at me. Or oh, yeah. I told her she's not allowed to look at me until tip off when she's either calling for a ball or telling me there's a screen coming or something. So, um, until then, we're not making eye contact. I refuse. How has your relationship with her evolved over the years since freshman year? Oh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure y'all asked the same question. Um, Freshman year, we couldn't stand each other. Didn't talk. I mean, we'll say hello or goodbye, have a great day. Other than that, on the court, we look like we got along. That's all that really mattered. But off the court, not so much. And now, she's the first person I want to talk to, whether I have a problem, I'm just having a good day, bad day, whatever it may be, I want to go see Taper. And uh, like the hugging and stuff we do, you would have never caught that two, three years ago. So we've come a long, long way. What was the diff like? What was the turning point? You think? Um. I think it was probably me me getting hurt and, and her having her knee issue before then. And I guess the injury just kind of brought us together. And we had something in common for the first time. So we had something to talk about. And then, you know, she started understanding me. I started understanding her. And we just built on that. So. Kamiko, it's a huge game, too. How do you get past the emotion of senior night and then totally refocus See, on what's at stake? That's why my plan is that she won't look at me. So I can stay focused because I can't get emotional because if I do, it's just going to be a wreck. So I'm going to tell her, stay in your box. I'm going to stay in mine. Let's get this W. Then we can cry and boo-hoo and do all that after the game. So you guys stay focused. Who's going to be here for your family? Who's gonna um, everybody. My dad flew in, um, I think, last night. So they're going to drive up tomorrow and then I'll be here. Considering what the expectations were from the outside for this team before this season, how much would it mean to – win the SEC title? Would it be oh, different gosh. than the others who won in the past? Well, first of all, we'd have to tell LG she was right. And then on, um, on top of that, I mean, it would mean a lot, you know. Coming from a place where people don't think or expect much of you and then you just prove them wrong, that's all. That always feels good to me. I mean, I'm pretty sure I can speak for the team on that, too. So it's going to be it's gonna be a great feeling. What do you think it would mean for Holly? What does it mean just for you guys to be a part of possibly Holly's first outright um, SEC title? It means a lot. I mean, Holly's, she's been there, you know. She's been on the pad. She, she knows what it takes to win. And for her to finally be the head coach and, and lead us the right way, I know it's going to mean a lot to her. It's going to mean a lot to us doing it for her. So we're just going to celebrate and have a good time. Talk about A&M specifically and what challenges they're going to bring. Um, from what I've seen when they play Kentucky and, you know, the little scout that we've been doing, they're a great team, defensive team, athletic team. They go through Kelsey Bowen and just remembering her from uh, AAU, big girl, she can play. So we're just going to have to try to shut her down. And, and uh, the point guard is really good, too, from what um, Coach Law has been telling us. So just, our defense is going to be key and um, getting the ball inside early. Are you guys hesitant at all just you know, coming off a win against Arkansas? But it was a tough win. Yeah, you guys had work for that win. Um, no. Um, I mean, Arkansas is a great team, but we kind of we weren't playing the way that we should have been playing. So um, just coming in on at this game, we're just trying to refocus and get our mind right because it is a big game, and so we know everybody's going to step up. Good thing is we have everybody back. So um, as far as like depth and stuff goes, I think we'll be fine. But our focus has shifted, and we're, we're doing good. So. You have lost since that Missouri game. How much of a turning point was that? What did you learn from that? Um, never take a team for granted. Um, we talk about it all the time, but we finally had experienced it. And um, by us being a young team, you know, you can tell players all day, you know, you shouldn't do this, you shouldn't do that. But until you experience it, it's a whole other perspective. So, I mean, we just took it in. We watched film. Then we just left it alone. We just moved on. I mean, no point in dwelling on it. Did it kind of help you all realize you don't have most that stuff for error and stuff? It, most definitely. And it, it spoke volumes to, like, our defense and – what we're lacking and, and what we needed to pick up. So the next couple of practices, we just focus on what we need to focus on.
Like Miko, everybody you know knows Tabor's strong and strong-minded person. Mm -hmm. but she said people don't realize how strong-minded you are and resilient. <laughs> she never got yelled at by Pat like right. you got yelled at, did yeah. she? No. No, no, no. Actually, I think I took a couple for her, but I love her. <laughs> um, but I think that just comes back from my background, like my dad, and I couldn't really be, I guess, a baby to him all the time. You know, he tells me to suck it up every five seconds. So um, I just learned to be on my own and, and stand my own ground. See, Lady Ball fans the, see the funny you, the dancing yeah. and the singing. And I think that's I my, think... like, defense mechanism, too. Like, when things start to bother me, I try to just laugh and smile because, I mean, at the end of the day, I'm alive. I really don't have any reasons to complain. It could be worse. So I just try to take it in and just move on from it. So that's what happened. Tabor saw the real you, didn't she? Yeah, I broke down in front of Tabor a couple of times. But she understands. That's why we're here. We're connected. <laughs> Thank you, Michelle. No problem.